happy Monday. Welcome back to this channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today, for subscribing, liking, commenting, and always support. If it's your first time, welcome to this channel. I am Daphne and I'm very excited to see you today. Please make sure that you subscribe and you click the notifications bell so that you do not miss out when I post a new video. So it's a Monday and it's time for us to pray. And the Lord put in my heart for us to, to pray a prayer of thanksgiving, just thanking God for the month of June. And you know what thanking God does? It's almost like a spiritual transaction. And it says, God, I acknowledge you. God, I see what you're doing in my life. God, I'm grateful. God, I'm humbled. God, I receive what you're doing. God, I see what you're doing. God, I see your love for me. It's a way to acknowledge God in your life. Being thankful is a way to acknowledge God in your life and his sovereignty, his majesty, his presence, his glory, his power, his authority, and his love for you. And you know, some of you have never been in hospitals. You've never had an accident. It looks like you are sliding through life and maybe you feel like, hey, I'm lucky, but it's not luck. It's the work of God in your life. And we want to pray and we want to thank God for the month of June in a prophetic way. Thanking God on behalf of your family, behalf of your children, behalf even of the people that live in the streets that you live in. Just thank God for what he is doing, what he has done and what you are seeing him do in your life. And even what you are desiring him to do in your life, even in this month. Thankfulness. Gratitude is a very powerful key in the spiritual realm. There are many keys in the spiritual realm that we can use. There's dancing, there's singing, there's fasting, there is singing songs in the spirit. There is a revelation of who Jesus Christ is, which is faith. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So there's revelation of God's word, but there's also gratitude. Gratitude opens doors. I just want you to pick, I just want you to picture yourself walking through a door. And being grateful for that door. And, and sometimes it automatically opens another door ahead of you. This is what gratitude is about to do for some of you. Opening doors. Opening ancient doors. Ancient doors that break certain barriers and certain patterns in your history, in your family, in your family. So gratitude is a very powerful thing. So being thankful is a very powerful thing. And it's not a thing that you can fake or you're pretending. I mean, it's, it has to be genuine. It has to be authentic. You are genuinely grateful. You are genuinely thankful. You genuinely want to give God glory for what he has done. And sometimes it's just to give God glory that you are breathing. You may look around your life and think, I don't have anything to be grateful for. Perhaps you're comparing yourself with somebody else and you're looking at their life and you're saying they have so much to be thankful for. I don't have anything. I wish I could be where that person is. But there are levels of challenges. There are levels of victories. There's different levels. You can never compare your life with somebody else. It's a very inaccurate way to live. It's very foolish. It's very immature. So when you compare yourself with somebody else, don't know the challenges that they have. You don't know it. You don't know the stage and the season that they are in. Perhaps you're still at stage B. That person is at stage E. So it's very important as you are looking at your life, look at your life in soberness. Be thankful and just focus on what God has been doing in your life. What you want God to do in your life. What God has already done in your life. There's so many things that God has done. I'm reminded of the disciples. They had forgotten to take bread. And they were with the Lord Jesus Christ going on a mission, a ministry mission. And the Lord spoke to them and he said, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees. And they thought, hey, it's because we have forgotten to take bread. And they began to argue and to be confused. They had forgotten all the miracles that the Lord Jesus Christ did. He had fed the 5,000. So the Lord was so perplexed. Like, have you forgotten the miracles that I did before? Why are you arguing about bread? This is not what I'm talking about. So sometimes when we forget the things that God is capable of, when we forget the things that he has done in the past, it can bring confusion in terms of where we are going next. We can be confused. Is God with me? Is God not with me? 
Is his presence with me when you're about to do certain things? You're desiring certain things. This is why an attitude of gratitude is very important. Not forgetting what God has done. Not relying on your own strength. The ability to take bread with you. Knowing that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you ask and all you imagine. Being grateful acknowledges Again, the sovereignty of God, his majesty, his power, his authority. So when we are thankful and we're giving thanks, it's a very powerful spiritual tool in the spiritual realms. It opens certain portholes. It opens certain doors. It welcomes certain people in your life. It opens up, it opens your life into certain seasons that you have never imagined before simply because you acknowledge and you're saying thank you. So today, I want us to say thank you to God. God, you are sovereign. You are God. There is no other. We give you the honor as we come in your presence. And your presence lives and dwells in us. As we acknowledge your power, your glory, your majesty. You are God, the sovereign one, the creator of the heavens and the earth. And everything that is in them. You hold time in your hands. You hold our breath in your hands. Father, we thank you for this breath. And not just this breath, but the breath of life. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. We are not lost. We are not alone. But we have you, your presence living in us. Oh, how powerful, how wonderful that we are your children. Most high God, we thank you that we are your children. We thank you for our health. We thank you for our families. We thank you that time is in your hands and you know all things. You know the plans that you have for us. And we know that those plans are good. Those plans give us a future and hope. Those plans are of prosperity. For that is your nature, sovereign God. We thank you that you have already you have already spoken blessings over us when you created us. When we were formed, oh God, by the word of your mouth, you formed us, oh God, and we came into being. Even as we said, Jesus is Lord. Even as we confessed that he is the only begotten son, you transformed our hearts and our lives and we entered into a new realm. And that realm is called grace. And in that realm, you blessed us with all spiritual blessings. What is it that we like? We don't like anything, oh God. And we thank you for that understanding that we lack nothing. That there is no need to worry. That you are sovereign. You know our needs today, even in this month of June. You know the needs of your people. And you bring it to pass according to your will, which is good, acceptable, and perfect. Sovereign Lord, I thank you for revelation that you're even pouring out to your children. Revelation to know that there's no need to worry. Revelation to know that everything is going according to plan, according to your will. Revelation to follow your lead. Revelation to understand your ways. I thank you, Father, that by your spirit, you've given us ability to know the mysteries of your kingdom. This kingdom that now dwells in us, oh God, we are Zion, we are the church, we are that mountain here on earth. Sovereign God, we thank you for the authority that you have invested in us. Thank you for the authority you've invested in your people, that they can move certain things, that they are kings and priests for you, our Father. Oh God, I thank you that your people are coming to the realization of your authority authority that is at work through them, the realization of your power, in that they don't need to compare themselves with anybody, that they can be unique and authentic and grow from grace to grace, glory to glory, and that there is no end, oh God, there is no limit when it comes to you, as long as they choose to walk in humility, as long as they choose to be led by your spirit. I thank you, Father, that this is a month where your people come into being and into that oneness, that fellowship that you so desire, that deep fellowship, that deep intimacy with you, O oh God. 
that intimacy that drives away fear. For there is no fear in love. Father, we thank you that we have that opportunity to fellowship with you, to come into your presence, to come at your throne and just worship you and pour out our hearts, pour out our concerns because there's nothing to fear anymore. For you do not judge us in the same way that men judge us. Sovereign Lord, I thank you for your love that is deep, that is long, that is wide. Father, thank you for that love that they understand it. And as they understand it, they are empowered and fear begins to fall off. Fear begins to come off out of the debris of their hearts. That debris is coming off because your perfect love cannot be chained. Your perfect love cannot be blocked. It cannot be hidden. Sovereign Lord, we give you the glory. We give you the honor and the praise. And we thank you for all things. Thank you for all things. And Lord, we pray. Father, we pray. Have your way in our lives forever and ever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Amen and amen. God bless you. I can see things falling off in the month of June. There's certain things that are just going to fall off you. And sometimes it's a, it's a mindset. Sometimes it's a way of doing certain things. Sometimes it's things to do with your environment. Sometimes it's opportunities that were not really from God that will just close down. And don't be afraid. And it's going to startle you. And for some of you, the Holy Spirit is going to say, have you noticed? Have you noticed? Have you noticed? The Holy Ghost is going to begin to remind you of certain things. So I'm excited for you for the month of June. Just continue being thankful. Just continue in thankfulness. Giving God glory because what the enemy doesn't want you to do is to thank God. The enemy wants to shut your mouth and he wants you to complain. He doesn't want you to thank God. Continue thanking God in this month of June. So God bless you and by his grace, hopefully I'll see you on Wednesday. Take care. Bye-bye.